Welcome to the SOAP UI tutorial and session 9. So in this tutorial, I'll be discussing about the data-driven testing in SOAP UI, a big data source, data loop, and data generator. Okay. So first of all, I would like to like you to know that those three things are not available in the free version of the SOAP UI. So for that, we will be using the SOAP UI Pro version, or you can say the Ready API version. I will be using. Okay. So let's have a look into it. How we can perform the data-driven testing in SOAP UI. So let's get started. So this is a sample project. I am currently using the Ready API version 2.0.2, and this is the Pro version of the SOAP UI. So let me take an example. And for this project that I have in, uh, imported, football uh, SOAP UI project. And okay, for this project, this is a SOAP binding uh, API navigator. I can see. So I'm just scroll down. Okay, lots of uh, API request has been given, uh, SOAP request has been given. Let me just uh, choose any particular one. Like, uh, I wanna see goalkeeper. This is the XML request I'll be sending. Okay, this is the raw request, this is the outline, and this is the form page. So, form page that outline you will get only in the pro version, not in the free versions. Okay, so for Brasilia. Uh, for Spain, okay. I want to know the goalkeeper. Uh, okay, just let me. Okay, so already I've sent the request to the endpoint and see the response. Response: the there are three goalkeeper lists that has been given for the country name that given set as Spain. Okay, if I change the country name here, Brazil. Send the request. I will get according to the response. This is the goalkeeper name will be given for this country specific. Okay, I can also send the same thing from here. Uh, Japan. So for Japan, I am getting this response. Okay. Now the next second step is that uh, I am going to uh, pass those uh, country name uh, from a data source. So data source we know that we can pass the data source from a external file, file can be text file or excel file uh, or from different different properties. So in this example I am going to show you how we can pass the country name from uh, data source. Okay. So first let me create one test script for that. Add to test case. Uh, I already have created one test suite before, so I am not creating any further test suite. I am just going to add the existing test case in the test suite. Okay. So, test case name I am giving as a PC. And I am checking this uh, four assessment like SOAP response, schema, not so fault, and uh, show text case editor. This. So the default assertion I'm uh, already checking. Okay. So we can see that uh, under the test folder, uh, and this, is, this is my test case, and this is a test of request. Okay. Uh, let me just rename the name. Uh, request goalkeepers. Okay. So. So this is uh, the test suite. This is my test case, and this is test step. Okay, in the test step, if I am passing country name this way and submitting, I should get the uh, response value like this way. That whatever the goalkeeper listed for this particular country. Okay. Now, next thing, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pass this country name from the data from the external data file or data source. So for that, if you want to pass the several country name. We need to use data source. So right click on that, insert data source. Things I would like to mention the data source, data sync, data generation, and data source look. These four things you will only get in the pro versions, not in the free version. Okay. So I'm using data source. It's giving options to create a data driven loop based on the data source and configure test step automatically. So if you want to provide several uh, country names at a single time. So I need to provide it as a loop. Okay. So for this case, I'm just clicking on the yes because I want the loop. Request test step is <coughs> request goalkeeper. <coughs> I'm clicking on okay. Okay. So this is my data source and this is my data source loop. Okay. And see, this is um, the country name. In this tag, I wanna 
send the data. So properties has been given as country name. I want to send the data. So data source different different, different options is given. Uh, uh, from that options we can choose uh, data connections. If you want to configure the data, if you from the external database, the put right your SQL query, it will face the uh, relevant uh, country name from the data source uh, from the DB. Or you can put uh, data generator directory, Excel file, grid, or you can write your own scripting language as a Groovy, or you can pass data from XML file, JSON file, or JDBC. Okay, let me show you how uh, using the data generator. Okay, one more thing like uh, that data generator you can also include in the step itself add step data generator okay so data generator you can also use this way but this is not the this should not be done actually this is a deprecated if you search on that google uh, i already have opened this the data gen state st uh, st step so the data gen state st step is deprecated to generate data use the data generator data source of the uh, data source of the data source test step okay it just simply means that we don't have to include the data gen uh, in a separate step itself we can all we can directly use the data gen i mean data generator inside the data source see inside the data source i'm using the data generator so don't we, we don't have to explicitly include the data generation so okay so i'm just uh, deleting as of now so another data source i'm choosing as a data source as a data generator so data generator number of row I want to give suppose I want to give five okay property value is a lot of uh, lots of property values that already been given I mean which are property value you want to provide if I provide string value then uh, maximum character maximum length and what of the string value I want to provide that I have to give uh, for as of now let me put it just like country so country is a default value okay so default value is taking So see it will list all the country list here okay and if you want to duplicate each value you can click on that i am not going to duplicate any value so i'm just unchecking other options okay so we can see the lots of uh, country all the countries name is listed this way and if i click on hit run for run options it will fetch the it's giving options like get the first 10 rows from the configured data source okay let's see it uh, if you wanna fetch, you, you have to mention what, um, how many rows you want. It's ten for. Uh, if you want to fetch all the rows, or zero for all. So if, if you put it as a zero, so it will fetch all the rows. Okay. So this is the result. That have number of rows given as a five. So Norway, New Zealand, Dominican Republic, Uganda, Virgin Islands, British is given. Okay. I want to. I want rows ten. Let me run it. And here mentioning as a zero, I means all the uh, all the data I should get from this data source. See, total ten I'm getting. Okay. The next thing is that I'm going to use a data source. So, is I am using the data source loop. Data source loop. It will uh, connect connected with the data source, and it will what it will do? What it will it will just uh, take the country name from the data source. It will pass the country name to the request. The soap request and after that it is executed it will again take the second country name and it will put the same thing to the uh, request goalkeeper whether my soap request okay the target step is request goalkeeper that, that is my soap request and one more thing in the request goalkeeper sections the country name i'm providing this way i just have to change that click on that portions then get data uh, from get data from the project we can see it is located under my test suite so click on test suite this is my test case and under my test case uh, this is a test step so inside the test step and inside the data source this country name is holding my data okay so i'm choosing that option so let me tell you again just you have to click on that portion click on that portions and get data from where i want to get the data so under that particular project, under the particular test suite, now we will go into the particular uh, test case, under the test suite, we will go into the particular test case, test step, the test step is this data source, and we will go into the particular uh, test uh, step, data source, and from the data source, I am, I am wanting, I am, uh, I will be needing this uh, property, yes, country name, okay, so I am adding this, so see, this, this has been added, this has been added in the XML file, 
okay country name this has been added okay from field we can see this has been added already okay so you can also choose this way okay so let me take the raw request this is the raw request okay hey, yeah, this is the xml response request okay. next i'm going to run my test script and we're gonna see okay so let's run it so it's basically it's running my uh, soap request for each and individual country okay it's finished uh, successfully so now we can check also the transactions log so it's showing that 21 test step has been passed and no test step has been failed okay so this is the ATC goal case this is my test case and so you can see uh, data data row 1 data row 2 data row 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 the total 10 data was there inside the data source i provide the number of rows as a 10 so it's taking only the 10 and it, it executed those response uh, it provided those response successfully uh, through the loop inside my soap request so you can open anything uh, open uh, let me open the request response if you click on open this one just hold on a second i need to and check this option okay if you just click on open i mean if you have already checked this option discard successful test step result to save memory just need to uncheck that option so that you can you will be able to see the request and response for each and every uh, soap request that has been already looked now let me see the request response okay i think i need to run it again okay so let me open the request for first data okay so it's uh, providing as a belgium for belgium country name i'm getting this response okay the xml response i'm getting this uh, let me back open let me open for the second response so it's uh, sending as a pakistan uh, and i'm getting this uh, response xml response also can view as viewed as, as a outline view so i'm getting the response okay let me have a look on the data source let me do one thing i will just run it again uh, then I'll just run it again. So all the steps have been passed, and this is my test step that is uh, we can see, and it is looping down. This is transaction log. Answer the transaction log. You can see the data source, my soap request, and the data loop. And if you navigate the compare sections, so you can see that uh, this is for my data row one. This is for my data row two. This is a total 10 rows could be executed. Total 10 rows, okay. Total 10 rows is executed. Now, if you want to open in a request, click on the soft request. If you want to check for Belgium, this is the this is what we sent request, and that is what the response I have got. Click on the back for the second one. I'm sending data as a United States uh, minor outline island, so I'm sending it this way. I'm getting this uh, response, uh, XML response okay so for each and every for data for data row data 3 i'm sending it uh, this way parkland island malvinus uh, i'm getting the response this way okay so we have seen that if you want to uh, look to the soap request and we want to get the re response for multiple data so you can use the data source okay so in the data source we have used data generator now i'm going to show you there is another way if you don't want to use the data generator we can also use the grid let me show you for grid yeah grid you have to mention whatever the country name you want to pass i want to pass brazil spain england and japan portugal france so let me first run it and check that question Mm, zero for all. 
So see, it's uh, under the grid. I've configured uh, given this country name: Brazil, Spain, England, Japan, Portugal, France. Okay. So this is uh, this all country name will be looped down through my SOAP request. Okay. If I run my test script. So this is my test script. Let me run it. I will see the result. Come to the test step. Is finished successfully. Transition log total 13 step. 13 step. And if I see the result, there is total six row. It's getting six row. Why? Because uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, yeah, mention uh, six country. That is why it's taking. Uh, it's the six row for six different country. It has taken. Okay. So let me first check it. It should be for uh, Brazil. So it send the request for Brazil first, and all the uh, response you are it is successfully got. For the same thing for the second row, it should send request for Spain. So it sends request for Spain. I uh, already got the response. For the third one, it sends for Japan. I'm seeing the response in the XML as well as in the outline. It sends the response of the goalkeeper name. And the last one, let me see. So, in the last one, I've sent as a France. So, I'm getting the response. Uh, all the goalkeeper name of the France. Okay. So, if you see my data source, this is all the list that Brazil, Spain, England, Japan, Portugal have sent this. Okay. And all these things have been successfully executed. In the compare log, we can see that. In the transaction log, it is also, we can see that. Uh, the test tape uh, taken total uh, how much time it have taken 2374 millisecond and then it's uh, all uh, showing us all the data source and data loop one by one data row one data row two data row three in the compare you can compare the each and everything you can uh, also i mean uh, archive the test runs you can save the test data uh, response in the history section History section, we can see. I mean, uh, for this test kit I've run before, uh, I mean, total how many runs it has been completed. If there is any assertion, failure, so we can also see those things, okay? Environment currently using the default environment. I will come to it later. Cooperation is a different thing. So, guys, as of now, we have seen that how we can use the external data source or the data source of the inside the test step to pass the data and look through our SOAP request, okay? So in the next, I will be discussing how we can uh, pass the data source using the external file like text file or uh, uh, Excel file. Okay. So that's all for today, guys. Uh, thank you for watching.